Larivar stands and reflects on the comrades he left behind. So there's two of my friends who was on that wall right there. A few names among the thousands of fallen at the Vietnam War Memorial. Var spent a year in Vietnam as an Air Force sergeant and then prisoner of war. That same year, Chuck Hagel, nominated as Secretary of Defense, was an infantry squad leader. Senator John Kerry, confirmed as Secretary of State, was a Navy lieutenant who later became an outspoken opponent of the war. Some vets now view Vietnam as an unnecessary war. Var says the Vietnam experience may affect Kerry and Hagel. It was the biggest life learning lesson there was of how things can go if you do things right or how things can go if you do, don't do them right. I was in school in North Carolina when Dad was over there. David Kreps and his family are visiting the memorial before burying his father at Arlington National Cemetery. His father served a year in Vietnam. David, also a veteran, spoke about Kerry and Hagel. Both of them are likely to be more careful about committing the nation to a path of warfare based on their experiences. I think they'll be more conservative as opposed to hawkish, but in a, in a good way. Kerry and Hagel's views are said to be cohesive with President Obama's, but some analysts say that leaves little room for constructive debate. I do worry about groupthink. James Carafano is a retired Army officer. He's now with the Heritage Foundation. I do worry about people that see the world too similarly, um, kind of marching off into the, the future just because the, they've got these kind of blinders on as to things that don't kind of fit with their worldview. Anthony Cordesman has worked for past secretaries of defense. He says Kerry and Hagel's views are shaped by more recent conflicts, like those in Iraq, Afghanistan, and the Balkans. It's not going to be philosophy here. It's going to be a very cold, hard military analysis of relative risk. And this is something I think the president is perfectly capable of. It is certainly something that both senators are capable of. Senator Kerry breezed through his confirmation for Secretary of State. Hagel is expected to have a tougher path to confirmation. In Washington, Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.